What's up, everybody? Comic Man Andy here again. Thanks for visiting the channel. Thanks for the continued support. Thanks for all the fun. Let's hang out and talk about some comic books. You know, it's been a ton of fun uh, the last year or so that I've been working on this channel, um, doing blind CGC unboxes. And it's been a riot watching other people in the community do it. I've really enjoyed it. The trouble with some of those videos is, is that there's a lot of time in between getting your shipments back from CGC, right? Especially if you're pressing and cleaning. So I got to thinking, well, instead of doing big, giant CGC shipments, 10 or 15, 20 books or something like that, what if I started doing smaller five, six, seven, ten? 10, went back to, you know, smaller shipments, something a little more often, um, a little more affordable if you do it in smaller chunks through a period of time. It'd be a lot of fun. And instead of waiting for the books to get back to talk about them, why not talk about them before sending them? I've seen a couple of people on their channels do this, and uh, it's been really neat to see people talk about pre-screening, like Skeps Comic Knowledge, talking about pre-screening and doing stuff before they go out. Um, and it's also an opportunity where I've been pre-grading a little bit. I'll try to put in some clips and links right up over there on the left for a couple of the grading videos that I've done. Um, and uh, let's talk about some of these books that I want to send out in this first shipment of 2020 for me. Um, Y'all know me. I love me some saga. I'm kind of chasing that full run of all the number one printings. So I am definitely going to be sending in. Ooh, lots of glare. Lots of glare with this. But these, I've got Mexican variants that I'm looking for 9.8s on. I got a couple of each. These are going to go to uh, a private presser and cleaner. Because these come poly bagged. And when they're poly bagged. They have some indentations on them running right down the front. So I got a couple of really good copies. Um, I'm projecting fingers crossed, fingers or fingers crossed and everything goes well. I'll get a nine, eight and a nine, six white one and a nine, eight and a nine, six silver. Cause that's kind of what they're both looking like. I did pre-grade these. Like I said, I'll throw the link up there. So there's four. We're going to do four of those. Those are going to get cleaned and pressed from a good friend. Confident that, the, that he'll be able to do well with those. And I'm really excited to get those and unbox them. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to peek at the grades. We'll do them blind. I'm still not sure if I want to do the fast track. I always feel like good things come to those who wait. I hate to rush something that's kind of like an art grading cleaning pressing everything so if i send out those four let's see if we can round it off at 10 so i'm thinking with everything that's been going on with uh ultimate fallout 4 and miles morales the books just kept going and going and going so i decided to pull my copies of um original sin number four for silk and um it looked like my copies are really close to nine eight candidates if not a couple of nine sixes, some of those nine sixes selling online seem like I can at least get value out of those, even if they come back nine sixes. So I've got a few copies of that going out. Those will also get clean and pressed because I feel like if I don't leave money on the table, you know, modern books, pretty big difference between nine eight and nine six as far as value goes. I'll get those out. And then um, I've been really excited about Star Wars lately. I hope everybody else has been too. Um, and I found myself sitting with a first Dr. Aphra fourth print. And this thing looked so super clean on it that I'd be shocked if it didn't come back 9-8. Um, this is a solid 9-8 candidate. That one I definitely want to get out there and see what that, that, come back, that comes back as. Not sure on the print run on that. I'm hearing it's pretty low. I like the cool purple cover on that. Um, and I'm not sure if this book is still catching some heat, but I found a copy that looks like it's in really good shape. And I want to add this to the pile. I've got a couple pressable spine ticks, non-color breaking. 
that third printing of Venom number three, though. I mean, yeah, if that comes back in 98, if that book is still pretty hot, that'd be nice to have for the PC. And for the last book that I'm going to submit in this batch, I love me some 90s gimmicks. Um, I love the fact that this character's coming back in a movie soon. So when I found this in this good of shape, I had to pull it and add it. I love that hollow cover. I love Blade. I just wasn't able to get on that bandwagon years ago and stack up first appearances. So what am I doing? It's first solo title in really good shape. I'd be stoked if this came back at least a nine, six or better. Super clean. That's what I'm doing. That's where I'm going. Going to be kind of cool to see what happens. Um, Cause it's kind of nice to be able to come back, check out this video, check out some of the pre-grading that I've done. And then when the unboxing comes, I can link to those videos to do the unboxing right there and see what actually happens. Right. It's going to be kind of neat. I wanted to keep this short, keep this sweet. Thank you again, everybody for the support. Uh, and please like comment, subscribe, help out my channel. Appreciate it. And uh, don't forget comment down below. I want to know what everybody else is sending to CGC. Um, what they're really interested in, is it because the book's hot? Is it because of your, it's part of your PC? Is it something that's extremely valuable to you? Not necessarily like from a monetary standpoint, but yeah. Seems like turn times are down for CGC, like they're moving stuff pretty quick. So that's another thing I would like to see. How long is this going to take to get back? Last few submissions I've done five, six months because I did cleaning and pressing with CCS. So yeah, let's see what happens. Like I said, keep it short, keep it sweet. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. I really enjoy it. Please do comment down below. I'd like to hear what other people have to say. I'm going to go peace out. No pinkies out. I'll catch you all on the flip side for the next video.